and he's got the uh, the sweater on, and then just just the most beautiful the, the most beautiful chains he's got going. Are those in season though, Chad? Can we get a headset on? Uh, yes. There we go. Those are gonna be uh, those are gonna be used in season jazz chism. Yes, sir. I like it. Whatever happened to the one with you with the one of you? I love, that uh, was my favorite there. one. I got that. That's too. still in the rotation. Yes, sir. Good. <laughs> we have a nice little rotation for this year. Probably about eight chains. Eight chains? Yeah, it's a rotation. Man. Is that that's always is that is that is, was that the plan going in? I mean, I always try to not wear the same chain. Probably not the same days. You know, like uh, every other day I try. That to days change. of the week one. Yeah, like I try to get one for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh, really? You know? Yeah. I love that. I love that. Some people got it like that. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> he is, he is going to have to like uh, have it like that. Listen, man, first of all, congratulations. Cover of MLB The Show. Thank you. Thank that has you, to be, you. that. Like when you found that out, that had to be a, a huge honor. What did that mean to, to get a video game cover, be one of the faces of the league? I mean, it means everything to me. I mean, for me, I... As a kid, this is what you live yeah. for, you know. What I mean, you see guys on the cover, and when you see that guy, you're like, "Oh my God, this is the guy that I, I got this video game, and you're on the cover." You know what yeah. I mean? So like, for me in the Bahamas, all the kids, they're like, "Bro, you made the cover." <laughs> <laughs> like I've yeah. never seen someone from the Bahamas be on a cover of anything. That's right. right. <laughs> so right. like, you know what I mean? So it was the sickest thing. You ever. you go you go back uh, every year, right? Like you yeah, I see we you have a up. we have a kids camp every year. We do a home run derby for the for the people in the Bahamas so they can see their Bahamian athletes. We bring a couple of big leaguers down so they can meet a few big leaguers. That's got to feel amazing, though. Like, yeah, right? it's like, sick, man. It's it's fun, like, making kids' days. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you bring in their favorite players. And, you know, a lot of the guys that are their favorite players in the league are my close friends. You know what I mean? So, like, you bring in those guys. You bring in Tatis. You bring in Acuna. And you bring in Wander Franco and those guys. And everybody's like, oh, this is, like... This is a superstar in the Bahamas. What is he doing here? <laughs> Hitting balls into the water, you know what I mean? So it's kind of sick. Yeah, yeah. It's got to feel good, though, knowing that not only can you get those guys to come there, but they view you in, a, in a, as equals yeah. that you can get them to go there. Because everybody can't just go and say, hey, come on, come to my hometown to do this care. Everybody don't have that kind of pull. Right. So right. it's something special to be able to do something like that. Uh, my question is, how you like it in the field? I mean, it's pretty easy out there, you know. It's, it's, just, it's just catching a couple of fly balls, you know. I'm Not enjoying as much action. It. I mean, I haven't gotten a game yet, so I don't know how much action is over there. But like, I'm just out there to catch the fly balls, you know. I, I've been doing it at second base. Why can't I do it at center field? You know what I mean? Why did uh? What, what made you want to do that, Jazz? You mentioned last year on a broadcast you were looking forward to getting a chance at shortstop, but um, you know, this is a big change. Like, not a lot of guys in your stature would want to do that. I mean. I know I'm an all-star infielder, and I know I can win a gold glove in the infield, and and I'm like, I accept that. You know what I mean? I, I accept that, and, like, I could be the guy to be like, nah, I'm not going to play center, center field. I could go and stay in the infield and still be an all-star every time I'm an infielder. But I love challenges. Like, I love to challenge myself to see what I can do. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm going to still be good at it and be great at it, really. And it's a game, it's baseball. One thing I know I can do is play baseball. Right. Like if it's anything in the world that I know I'll be great at is a baseball game. So just to go out there and play baseball, go out there and play center field. I love running around fly balls anyway. Like when I'm in the infield and a fly ball goes in the outfield, I'm running back there anyway. <laughs> right. So why not go do it in the infield? I mean, in the outfield, you know what I mean? Like I don't feel like if we would have went and got a center fielder, it would have been a better center fielder than me. So <laughs> at that point, why yeah. not help the team? Right, you know, what I mean, go get a short, go get a shortstop, go get an infielder if we need an infielder. You know, what I mean, because I know we had two open spots that we didn't fill yet, and then when Arias came, we still really didn't have a. Well, I wanted to play shortstop, but we didn't have a center fielder. Yeah, and we have another shortstop that can play shortstop, as in Joey Wendell. Yep. So at the end of the day, I could just go play a position that we don't have, that we're trying to trade for, and every other team is giving us a hard time. You know what I mean? Like, I'm watching everything that's happened. I'm talking to the coaches. I'm trying to understand what's going on. And they're fine. They're still working hard to find a center fielder. I'm like, bro, I'll go out there, and I'm going to be the best what out there. What did they tell they, <laughs> you? Really? Yeah, did they give you the, like, I talking, mean, They didn't come to me. No. I know, but I'm saying, no, did, so when you said it, did they go, huh? Nah, so when I said it, he was like, honestly, I was thinking that. 
but he didn't want to come to you because you're an all star. Like, right. Because so I'm an all star infielder. He's giving your respect. Right. Right. So. And that's why I feel like everything went so smoothly because they didn't you, come and ask me, like, hey. I feel like if they came and asked me, like, hey. You want to be my center fielder? Yeah. I would have probably said no. Because you're looking at it as being disrespectful. Yeah, like, right? what do you mean right. I'm going to the outfield? You right, I, I mean? got like, you. It's, it would have been, like, more like, bro, I, I'm i an all-star second baseman, right. and you're going to ask me to move to the outfield. But it wasn't like that. It was more like, yeah, I'm an all-star second baseman, but I could be an all-star center fielder too. Right. And this is what the team needs. And the team needs it. Right. And I want I want to win. Not a lot I'm, of people. You, you I'm a, I like how you almost cursed. I love it. <laughs> you're, 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 you're Not a lot of people would do that, man. I want to win, bro. I came from the playoffs where I was in the play. I came from the minor leagues where I was in the playoffs each of my five years in the minor leagues, leading my team to the playoffs. Right. Won a championship. Got to the championship every year in the minor leagues. Right. So like, I'm not you. I'm not accustomed to losing. Like right. even in high school, got to nationals, got to a championship in nationals. I'm not accustomed to losing. When yeah. I lose, I get upset. Even if even in the playoffs, when I got up to the first year in my big in my big league career, we got to the playoffs and when we lost, even though I played one game and I played great, right. I was upset. Right. Because I'm not a freaking loser. I'm a sore loser. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, do you? But did you feel, Jazz, seeing the moves this year? Uh, like, how do you think that you guys brought in all stars? You guys brought in batting champions. How do you think that's going to help stop the losing and, and get you to where you want to go with this team? I feel like it's going to make everybody more trusting of each other. You know, what I mean, like when someone's at the plate, you're not like grabbing your stuff to go on the field because, like, you know, what I mean, like, it, let's be honest, like we're all baseball players, we're all grown men. When when you know someone's not going good. And you can see it when they go up to hit. You're just like, yeah, it's it's two outs. Okay, yeah, let me grab my stuff and get ready to go for the third out. Right. That's how that's yeah. how it is. That's how it right. felt. And in a losing clubhouse, that's how it is with any batter except the best batter on the team or the best three hitters on the team. And last year we didn't have that. You know what I mean? Like I think our best hitter was Cooper last yeah. year, and he hit two fifty six. Yeah. And every time he came up, we were, he was the guy when. It was me and Solar was hurt. Was he was the only guy that everybody was thinking was going to get hit every time he came up to the plate? You know what I mean? And that's a losing environment when only one guy you think in your lineup is going to get a hit. Yeah, right. yeah. You know what I mean? And that's the difference in the culture now to have Segura, Arias, um, and you see how hard. And I've seen how hard Solar and Avisel worked this offseason because we all worked together. So yeah, you guys were like at the ballpark. It seemed like a lot. Yeah, together. every day, was every it, day, five days a week from the first week of the off season started. Man, that's that. That doesn't feel very common. Like that, you guys it's are doing. It's not. It's not. But it was like something that we put together as like the three guys that we know are going to be back, and we got to lead this team to a playoffs. You know what I mean? Solaire's won a World Series MVP. He's been there. Ivasel, he's he's been a thirty homer guy. And we're just trying to get back to those guys. You know what I mean? They had their first year in Miami, you know. Nobody really knows how Miami flies until you play there for the first time. And then, like, you realize the park is pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, a big, base, it's a big park. Right. And those guys are huge. Right. And But nobody comes there and hits homers every day. You know what I mean? So, like, they got to adjust to where some days, like, you know, this guy's on the mound. You, try, you can't go deep that day. You know, he might have a heavy fastball. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. Before we get you out of here, Jazz, uh, is, uh, you're getting uh, called away. Uh, see you rocking the throwback uh, yes, sir. on the hat. How excited are you to have those back? Oh, bro, I'm so excited. I've been waiting to wear these teals all my life. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I'm a big I'm a big Marlins fan. I came uh, – I remember when they had the Hanley Ramirez Day in 2010, uh -huh. and I won the Little League World Series wearing Hanley Ramirez's batting gloves. So – I mean, I've always been a big Marlins fan, a big Hanley Ramirez fan, Gary Sheffield, all those guys, Ugla, everybody that's really been here that I really, like, grew up watching, you know right. what I mean? Are so, you you excited. Uh, you picking the brain of uh, JP out here at all? I've seen he's out here for right. a couple games, Swamp Pierre. What do you, what do you learn I've from the great champ, so Swamp Pierre? I've been working with him from the first day of the offseason as well. Like, me and JP are super close ever since I got traded over here from 2019. Me and JP have been as close as ever. His kids and I are, like – brothers and so he's been teaching me a lot he's been really teaching me like he says like all the time like how i'm way faster than he's ever been right so he's like bro this is gonna be super easy for you you will not have one stress out here this is you're an athlete you're an infielder first of all that can run 
So you got to get put in the outfielder, and you're an infielder that can run back and catch foul, fly, fly balls. So you're at an advantage of any any position player that's ever moved to the outfield in any way. So he just said, like, take it like how Trey Turner did. You know what I mean? Trey Turner went to center field, and he he did great. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, until he got traded over to the, to the Dodgers, and he became a shortstop again. Right. And that's what, I, that's what me and Skip talked about. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'm going to be your shortstop. I'm going to be your center fielder. But at the end of the day, when you need me back at shortstop, You'll I'll do there. that. We right. appreciate, well, we appreciate the time, Jazz. Thanks appreciate so much, man. People can't wait for your season, man. They're excited. A uh, full season of Jazz Chisholm is going to be absolutely Be healthy, man. Stay, oh, healthy. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. A full healthy. season of Jazz Chisholm is an MVP year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Thanks so much for the time, Jazz. We appreciate, appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All there right. you go. Jazz Chisholm joining us here in Jupiter, and uh, we appreciate him giving us some time. Thank you so much, Jazz. We're looking forward to his uh, his year ahead. Jason, thanks for uh, hooking us.